Aaron, thank you. This morning, we are taking a deeper dive into those new requirements that child care providers have to adhere to to keep kids safe. They include daily health screenings, keeping a record of who's been vaccinated, and making sure that children ages two and up are wearing face masks. But some parents and daycares alike are calling these new rules ridiculous. Parents say they were blindsided by this rule to keep their kids masked up all day long. They say it's hard enough for them to keep a mask on for short periods of time. I don't know how she's going to be putting a mask on now. I know we took her to a museum once. She wouldn't even keep it on for 10 minutes. Now we also sat down with the owner of one daycare in Buffalo who says the new mandate is making her wonder what progress has actually been made in the pandemic. We're a year and a half into this thing and toddlers have not been they haven't been forced to mask up um, this whole time. So I just want to know what changed. What information do these leaders have that we don't know about? We need answers. You cannot put out a, a, you know, a nationwide memo to tell us to put these changes in without explaining to us why, because at the end of the day, we deserve to know. So we did, as a station, reach out to Dr. Thomas Russo at UB School of Medicine regarding these new guidelines, who says since young kids at daycare are not vaccinated yet and they're often indoors, mask use is important when it comes to protecting themselves and others. But this issue has really raised the ire of parents all over Western New York. Yeah, here's why. Because they weren't required to wear masks prior to this point. Right. So now, for the last 14 months, these kids have been roaming around daycares without masks, but now all of a sudden, just like that, They've got to wear their masks. So we wanted to take a few minutes to get the perspective of the daycare providers who help care for your kids. Danielle Kinsman uh, owns Jumped Up Jelly Beans on Hurdle Avenue. Danielle, good morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us. Your daycare in particular for the last several years has been lauded as an example by the state. But now if you don't follow those guidelines, I mean, you could get in trouble. Absolutely, and that's obviously something I don't want to happen. But at the same time, this is came out of nowhere and it takes time to implement these things and to explain things to the parents who are not happy and starting to have some fear that maybe there is some scientific reason behind it, which we don't have any evidence of. Danielle, talk to us about the reaction that you are getting from parents that you've spoken to. You've got 22 kids, you told us, at your daycare. What are those moms and dads saying to you? They're frustrated, not with me. I have a good relationship with them, but they are frustrated. They don't understand why. And most importantly, my toddler room is where I'm getting the most um, pushback because the children in that room are 18 months to three. So half the room has to wear a mask and half doesn't. And it's very hard to explain that to a toddler. You know, and, and Danielle, the other idea here is that parents don't want their kids wearing masks at daycare. We know it's a nuisance for these children. It's a nuisance for a lot of people, frankly. But the idea is that these parents then are going to say, OK, I'm going to have to reduce my hours at work or I'm going to leave my job altogether to care for my kid now. But that could affect your business as well. Oh, absolutely. I've seen Facebook posts all over the place of people offering to watch children in their homes and um, just, you know, that their people are going to pull their kids out of daycare. And I'm just barely hanging on with this pandemic as it is. And um, I feel like that's really going to hurt people or scare them away from finally feeling like they could send their kids back to daycare. Could you put it into perspective for people who aren't at a daycare every single day? Sure. What is it like keeping masks on children who are two years old? Um, it's kind of like chasing wind. Um, there's <laughs> you you can I mean, you can barely keep them to get, keep their shoes on, let alone a mask. Plus, it's very hard to hear them, to understand them. And also, you don't even know if their boogers are running into their mouth. <laughs> I mean, that's a child in a nutshell, right? Perspective, exactly. <laughs> I mean, right. It's just those little tiny things that take up every single minute of your day when those are the times you should be interacting with the kids and right. playing with them. Instead, it's put your mask on, put your mask on, put your mask on. And But to only half the toddlers who don't understand that, we're supposed to lead by example. Their parents. 
Well, you get the gist here from Danielle. It looks like we have her signal back. Danielle, yeah. real quick, I just wanted to acknowledge the Child Care Resource Network statement that was put out yesterday. They yes. are the organization that kind of connects parents with resources in our they area. Do. They issued a pretty strong statement yesterday saying that child care providers have been there throughout the entirety of the COVID-19 pandemic to ensure that the children of essential workers were cared for. We firmly believe that child care providers deserve a voice and a seat at the table when these regulations are being discussed. Discussed. Have you heard anything about being connected or having that seat at the table and telling the state exactly what you think about this? No, I don't. We don't ever. We're never asked our input. Honestly, I've never been reached out to by anyone to ask anything about any of this. That's a shame. And you can see that that would add to the frustration right. to the people who are in it day to day, as she said, doing the chasing of wind right with the kids. So right. What, I'm it, just one few per, one person who's getting to express myself. There's hundreds of us out here who feel the same way. And we know the parents are very concerned about this as well. Danielle Kinsman from Jumped Up Jelly Beans on Hurdle Avenue in Buffalo. We certainly appreciate your perspective and your time this morning. Thank you for having me, guys. Our Thank pleasure. You.